What's up? What's up? So on today's video, I'm actually going to be sharing exactly how I set up all of my binders when going through any type of like online program or online course. And I have been doing this since way back when I was in college many, many years ago. <laughs> and um, it's just a very simple system that I've been using to, to stay really organized to where I don't have papers just flying everywhere out of my wazoo. So you can easily find and locate everything you need. I'm also gonna be sharing what supplies I use and more, all of that coming right up. So hey, I am Sherry Brown and I'm the creator of the Moms Marketing Lounge. I'm a hashtag recovering spammer and it's now my passion to really help busy work at home moms to rediscover their voice, build a solid foundation for their business and show their kids what's possible. And on this channel, I do everything from product reviews and tutorials like you're gonna see today, as well as actual social media and marketing strategies that you can implement to go further faster when building your business online. So if this kind of seems like it's your jam, then consider subscribing. Just make sure that you hit the bell so you get notified as I upload new videos each and every week. Now for the tutorial. All right, so here we are and hopefully the volume is good where you can still hear me pretty well. So the first thing I wanna kinda of start with are the supplies that I use. So obviously the first thing that you're gonna need is some type of notebook. Now, you know, just get whatever three ring binder that you like. I like the ones that are kind of like more hard versus the ones that are like super flexible. Totally up to you. And then I generally um, tend to go with like the, the 1.5, but again, I think it really just depends on how big of a course that you're going through um, as to how big of a binder you need. And what I'm gonna do is I will also post a link in the description below the video to my Amazon storefront. I have a little Amazon storefront and I've got it set up into like different albums. One of those albums is productivity. So you're gonna find all the supplies I kind of mentioned here. Um, you can get either on Amazon or you may have some already lying around your house or you can go to Walmart, Target, wherever you wanna get them. Um, and so the first thing, which I'm not really going to be, you know, using these today, but uh, these are absolutely like my favorite go-to pens. They are the Energel. I like to use the 0.7 millimeter. And with these, um, I just find that I tend to just write better. Whenever I've got like a really good pen, I tend to take just my handwriting's a little bit better. Um, and so these are like my go-to pens. The next thing is highlighters. I will use these whenever I'm going through any type of like online program. I just like to kind of highlight different things that kind of stand out to me. And so um, these are the highlighters that I get. Obviously you may have some laying around, but highlighters. The next thing are these Sharpie, um, these little Sharpie pens. And what I'll do is I will open open these up. Um, the reason why I like this particular pack is the fact that it's got a fine and an ultra fine um, point. So this side right here, you can see that, you know, there's that side and then there's also down at the bottom like an ultra fine. And so I will use these whenever I am doing like any type of labels or anything uh, just because it's permanent and it won't smudge. So that's the next thing I need. Always, I have to have this when I'm setting up any type of binder. And then I also love tabs. These really help to keep me organized, okay? So I use these particular tabs, the bigger, uh, the bigger tabs, and then also I've got these smaller tabs. And you're gonna see kind of like how I use these when setting up my binder here in just a minute. But um, I love, love, love the little post-it tabs. And then obviously paper, and I prefer college roll, but you may prefer wide roll, totally up to you, but I always um, have paper on hand for note taking. And then I also use these, hopefully there's not too big of a, a glare on this, but I also use sheet protectors, okay? So you can see like right here, um, and I'll kind of show you and, and tell you what I use sheet protectors for. But, um, you know, you can get as many of these as you want. But um, again, I use sheet protectors. 
and then some type of dividers, okay? So the reason why I like these particular dividers, and they come in like five tabs or eight tabs, and I've already kind of used these, but I'll tell you why I really like these particular ones is because they have pockets. And, you know, there's a lot of times where maybe I'm working on some worksheets or something or taking some extra notes and I might put something in one of these pockets. That's why I kind of prefer these. And then moving on to a hole punch, okay? So I have a couple of these on hand just because I'm always printing so much stuff out and I like to keep these in a binder. I'm very much into binders over like a regular notebooks. I think it's a lot easier to stay organized and be able to find notes um, versus just in like a regular spiral bound notebook. So um, I always have a hole punch on hand as well. So those are just a list of kind of the supplies that I use when setting up a binder. Now what I'm gonna do, let me just kind of move um, some of these supplies out of my way and we will kind of get into how I set this up. So this is just the notebook. I've got a group coaching program called the Mom's Marketing Lounge, and so I'm just gonna kind of show you how I kind of, you know, students of mine inside it, how they can set up their notebook or how I've kind of used my program, um, you know, to set, to set this binder up. So the very first thing is, you know, if you have any type of like course outline or, you know, anything like that, maybe you're taking a class and there's again, like some type of course outline, that's why I use the sheet protector. So I'll kind of just put that in the very front of the binder with this inside of the Mom's Marketing Lounge. I do have an incentive program, kind of like, you know, if you've ever shopped at Sephora or stuff where when you spend money, you get points and things like that. So this just kind of breaks down, um, the lounge level incentive program I have inside of the mom's marketing lounge. So that's something that I would just put like at the front of, uh, at the front of the binder. And again, I use the sheet protector. You don't have to, you can just punch, you know, some holes in it and put it in there like that. I just think it looks a little cleaner. And since it's not a piece of paper that I ever really write on, that's kind of what I use the sheet protectors for. So moving on to the way that I actually, you know, plan this out or kind of set the binder up is generally when you're going through programs online, it's kind of broken down into modules and then within each module, you've got different training videos inside, okay? So that's what I use these particular you know, the dividers for is I will divide it out based on what module it is. So the very beginning of the Mom's Marketing Lounge is really, you know, some foundational pieces where, you know, we go over vision, um, your brand, how to identify that, and then your ideal customer, okay? So kind of like your target audience. And so that is the first module, and therefore we have this. So we've got these tabs, and then these, um, particular tabs right here. This is what I'm going to use whenever um, the, you know, to break down the lessons, okay? So we've got the first module, and then inside of the first module, there are four different lessons, four different trainings, okay? And each one talks about something different. And so for me, um, I just kind of print out the slides if they're available. If you, you know, don't print out the slides, um, you could always just kind of label it with your notes. So I'll always take one of these. I'll use the Sharpie pen and I will write down, you know, lesson one. This is branding part one. And that's how I kind of label it. However the program is labeled, that's what this label is going to be for that particular training video. And, you know, so with this, I generally will upload slide decks and so people can print it off. This is kind of how I do it. And then you can kind of take notes on, um, you know, on each particular slide deck. Now where these come in is I will generally mark these, use the smaller tabs if there is some type of download. So I know um, by looking at this little red tab or the small tab, that that is a download or a worksheet within that particular lesson, okay? So in 
this particular lesson, this is where I have a download for them. It's called the, uh, the Brand Builder, okay? So these are worksheets that they can do and, you know, to kind of work on their brand. And so again, that's how I kind of know, okay, is there a worksheet that needs done? If there is, that's what I'll use these littler tabs for, okay? And again, I just go down and then I break it down. This is video number two, identifying your ideal customer. This is training part three, identifying your brand statement. Um, and then moving on, you know, the second module is content marketing, okay? So again, this is part one of content marketing and because you see the red tab that is a worksheet that i know that they're going to be doing which is creating and coming up with their content marketing plan and how they're going to put content out so this is just a you know again a quick little rundown so right here let's say when they start you know building their their email list which is another module inside of it now this particular checklist kind of shows them exactly, you know, what to do. So they can either put this in a plastic, um, you know, in a plastic sheet protector or because this is something that they can check off and, and write on, then that's how I kind of know that, you know, I don't really put it in a sheet protector if I know that I kind of need to check things off. It's totally up to you if you want to do that. But this, again, is just kind of how I set up each notebook, okay? And um, this has, you know, worked for me. I've been doing this, um, gosh, forever, for years since I was back in college. And again, I just think it's way easier to kind of keep up with everything. And um, it just makes it easier for me to find content, go back through, and that way everything, if these weren't labeled, it would be very, you know, time consuming and just, it, it looks a little messier if I didn't have like these particular tabs letting me know like when the next training starts. So, um, and, and generally moving along, you know, as I'm going through an online program, I'll just kind of set these up as I'm going through like each one. So I don't just build the entire notebook um, at the beginning. I will just kind of put in as I go, I'll have these tabs in here and then as I go, I'll just write it out. And if you want to be like super um, neat, you could always, you know, get some type of uh, thing where you can like a label. A labeler and you could you know put a label on here if you wanted to keep it clean I think I've got pretty good handwriting in general so that's why I generally just uh, will write on these and stick them in here well there you have it did you like the video let me know below if you did get some value from it be sure to hit that like button and as always share it out sharing is caring now, just like with anything, these are just tips in the way that I personally set up my binder. So feel free to take and implement whatever, you know, whatever it is you want. If you don't want to get as detailed or, you know, as organized as I am, that's totally fine. Take what you want, leave the rest. And, uh, you know, here is the question of the day, the question that I have for you. And that is, you know, when it comes to staying organized, where do you find like your biggest struggle is? What do you find your biggest struggle to be when it comes to staying organized? Let me know below in the comments. And I'll also link to a couple of other videos that I think might help you out. You might have also seen them pop up in the cards. But with that being said, I hope you got some value. Hope that this strategy works as well for you as it does for me. And I'll see you back here next week for another video. Bye for now.